Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. March 21st, 2019, the Google Spanked Edition. First up, a story from a site called France24.com that former NBA star Chuck Person pled guilty on Tuesday to accepting $91,500 in bribes while working as an assistant basketball coach at Auburn University. Person was one of several university coaches arrested following an FBI investigation into corruption in college basketball. He's certainly one of the biggest names, and clearly uh, this scandal is not going to go away. Next up, it really may not seem like a compliance matter, but what are you going to do when your company takes a huge negative verdict on a product liability case? What are you going to do around your stock? Well, compliance practitioners and probably everybody else at uh, the uh, Bayer uh, are asking that question after shares plunged more than 10% in morning trading Wednesday after a jury determined that a California man developed cancer while using the company's Roundup weed killer in his yard. The case marked the second legal defeat in seven months for the German pharmaceutical giant over its weed killers. Last summer, it got hit for $289 million, although the uh, penalty was later released, reduced to $78.5 million. So uh, negative uh, information and in what's going to be the compliance function response is always a critical issue. Next up, uh, USC, the the university that had the greatest number of fraudulent admissions, at least alleged in the admissions scandal, has has suspended the accounts of students allegedly linked to the admissions bribery scandal. Uh, USC is really on its hind legs on this one, and uh, although it's not surprising they would go after the students, you would think the college with the biggest problem would uh, look for a little bit better solution than to go after students. Nevertheless, Uh, That's what USC has uh, chosen to do. And finally, in our top story of the day, uh, Google back in the news uh, as EU regulators spank the company to the tune of 1.5 billion euros. That's about Mm $1.7 million dollars. for after the EU found a competition in a competition probe found in the past 10 years it had been thwarting websites that used advertising services of its rivals. The fine was larger than expected and makes the total antitrust fines applied uh, by the EU in three cases against Google to over 8.3 billion euros. So that's uh, B with a a B word. So Google is certainly spanked by the European regulators. Uh, They continue their losing streak in Europe. Their conduct is consistently found to be uh, violating EU antitrust prescriptions. And it doesn't look like this is going away, particularly as Trump weaponizes all other fines and penalties. I'm back from PodFest Expo 2019. I've got a lot of great new ideas around the podcast and the Compliance Podcast Network. Stay tuned for them all. This is Tom Fox. If you have any ideas for the daily compliance news, please feel free to email me at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. I'd love to hear from you. As you may know, we've had several new offerings on the Compliance Podcast Network. One of those includes Popcorn and Compliance, where Jay Rosen and I take a look at compliance through the lens of movies, both current, contemporary movies, and classic movies. Also premiering in December and Finally, Mary Shirley and Lisa Fine have premiered their new podcast, Great Women on Compliance. I hope you will check that out. It's a great podcast series. We have several other offerings that are in production that will go live hopefully in Q1 of 2019. I hope you will check back to see the offerings on this Compliance Podcast Network.